So a lot of people have been asking about the Telesyn dome for diving, for snorkeling, and I really want to review it, but I wasn't really anywhere where I could review it, so I brought along Adam. That's right. He actually went to Bali and <laughs> took it with him, and he's going to tell us all about it. But, you know, not here. It's too windy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll be right back. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black, and I love to review cool gear that comes my way. If you're new here, don't be a stranger. Click that subscribe button that's right in front of Adam's face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Links to everything will be down in the description, plus some coupon codes and a surprise link. And yeah, Adam, you're no stranger to this car. Check out the video we did uh, last time where we did a cool time warp effect with filters driving through the city. It yeah. was really cool. So what happened was uh, Telesyn, they sent me a diving port and I wasn't going anywhere warm anytime soon to be able to do that. So Adam went on a trip to Bali Yeah. and he took this thing. I'm a very novice scuba diver, like novice novice. To come back with video from this unit, then I'm looking at going, this is super professional. I found it fantastic. This will improve your underwater videography by miles. Oh, wow. wow, okay, well, before we go on, let me just go ahead and show you what you get in the box. So in the box, you get the whole dome rig. And before you throw away the box, there is another little box right here that has some other goodies in it that we'll get back to. All right, I love this part. It's so nice and lightweight, and it's just really easy to hold. It does come with a cleaning cloth, and it also comes with a dome cover. It is the standard Telesyn dome with the built-in housing for the Hero 9, 10, and 11. And let's just go ahead and say 12 too, because we know that's gonna be the same. The handle part has two quarter thread mounts on the top and three cold shoe mounts on the bottom, so you can load this thing up with underwater lights. It's really easy to pop the dome into place as well, and it comes with this attachment, so if you didn't want to use the dome, but still wanted to use the handle rig and waterproof housing, well, you can do that. You can get the dome by itself for under 55 US dollars with my discount code, or you can get the dome with the holder for around $70 with my discount code, and you can get waterproof housing for under $15 with my discount code. These domes are great when you want to get that half in water, half out of water shot, but they also give you a wider field of view when you're underwater. So without the dome, you're actually gonna have water magnifying your image even more. It's so light. It's so light to um, swim underwater. Having the two hands on it makes it super stable. Like my arms are flailing around out there in the water. So with, the, with that unit nice and firm in my hands, the, the video looks so clean. Just It looks so professional. It looks professional, professional yeah. yeah. It looks like I'm watching a movie. That's so good. What settings did you have on your hands? Uh, I had 4K and I used 4.3. That way I've got room to crop if I need to. Mm. Uh, I use 60 frames per second. I set my minimum ISO to 100. And depending on my depth, if I'm only doing snorkeling, I'll set it to 400. But if you're going down to 30 meters in it, you probably want to probably push it to 1600. Mm. He uses waterproof lights. He said it makes a huge difference. Okay, so this is uh, just a fairly cheap underwater light. It's not overly bright, like professional dive lights around about 10,000 lumen. But once you put two on, and if you go even four, you're starting to add a fair bit of fill light. So when I'm diving deep, 18 to 20 meters, um, it gets pretty dark down there. So to be able to swim up close to something and get some fill light in, it just makes all the difference in your video. It really did make my video stand out to everybody else's that I was seeing. And for a very inexpensive rig setup, you know, the two lights and the rig itself, which is pretty, pretty well yeah. priced. Um, and to get the results that you'll see in these videos. In your GoPro Quick App, when you go in to edit the video, you'll find filters. Now go into the filter section, and Danny can probably do a little clip on this as well. Uh, you can slide it. Okay. <laughs> you can slide across. You'll see one called Water, and when you click on that, you'll see it comes up with underneath that Dive, Snorkel, and Surf. I think it is. Uh, you click on Dive, and then you'll find a little slider at the top. You can dial in as much of that filter as you want. That made a big difference as well. What about uh, like condensation or anything like that? Condensation. You always touch your GoPro out of the water like you don't go and put it in here with wet hands because these will get warm inside the unit they will yeah put condensation in the front of the lens or in the front of the dome there a lot of people they're, they're concerned about their gopros overheating when i did my first open water uh, i was shooting 5.3k 60 frame per second i had it one clip that i forgot to turn off i did 15 minutes underwater didn't didn't overheat hyper smooth is just on standard yeah yeah, yeah. i don't go anything uh, any more than that uh doesn't that way it doesn't crop in too much uh, plus you've got the rig anyway so it's whole, it's keeping it nice and stable yeah, so uh, when you're transporting it you can pull that out and just get the cover and keep it covered which makes it really easy for tra traveling because um, yeah, you got a bunch of scuffs on yours yes yes so you didn't have that just a polycarbonate i presume 
and it does get a little scratches in it. Uh, the other thing when you're diving with it as well, make sure that you give it a real good clean before you go diving. I did one dive where uh, I wiped it down, I must have had sunscreen or something on my hand, and I just left a couple of marks, which uh, you don't see in a lot of the shots, but as soon as you point it towards the sun, you do get that uh, a lot of that refraction off the off the off that. Like I said, I'm novice. I'm yeah. I'm absolutely novice. Like to go out there and get video that I'm super proud of with very limited experience in diving and snorkeling. I think anybody that buys this unit, they're going to see a big improvement in their videos and the quality of um, what they're able to do. So I can definitely recommend it. Yeah, for sure. There you have it. I still will like to test this out. Hopefully I'm going to get up to the Great Barrier Reef or something pretty soon, especially with the Hero 11. I really want to test out that 10 yes. color oh, and yeah, that yeah. eight by seven yeah. uh, full frame look. So if you have any questions, write them in the comments. He'll be trolling. He'll, he'll, be, he'll answer all of your questions. <laughs> I think, you know, when you share your knowledge and it helps people, it, it makes you feel good. Just like, you know, when people click on your Oh, ah, you just clicked it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for clicking that. Yeah. Really appreciate you testing that out. Yeah. And uh, well, one, two, three. See you next time. Can we call you Uncle Blackie? No. I am super impressed. I highly recommend it. <laughs> Adam. <laughs>